Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on JNT Labs. So in this video, we are going to see the working module of GPS. So we'll be writing a code and then we will be dumping it and we will be seeing the output. So basically you can able to see that a light is blinking on GPS, right? So a green color light is blinking on the GPS as you can able to see on, on your screen, you can able to see on my webcam, you can able to see that a, a green color light is blinking for some time and it is not blinking for some time. So if blinking is more then the signal strength which is getting from GPS satellites, almost five satellites are required for to get a exact longitudes and latitude value. So if the signal is more then we will be getting a good value, longitude and latitude value. If the signal is weak then we will be not be getting the longitude and latitude value. So since it is a serial based communication, GPS work in the serial based communication. So we have to write serial, we have to begin our serial monitor, serial dot begin. It works with the baud rate of 9600 which is a baud rate, a communication or an understanding between my Arduino module and GPS module and to my system PC. So PC work on different frequency. My Arduino works in different frequency and also this GPS module which gives the data in serially it also gives a different frequency. So my understanding between all these modules I am telling that it should give a baud rate of 9600. I am making my serial monitor since I am writing my serial monitor I am verifying if there is any serial data available or not. Okay serial dot available. If it is greater than 0 then I am taking a character where I am storing serial dot read serial dot read okay I am reading the data from the which I am getting it from the transmitter uh, transmitting this and I am receiving from to my Arduino so that C is a character so now I am displaying it seri on serial monitor serial dot print just what I am printing the character C. So default this character will be displayed in my serial monitor. So before uploading code just let us remove it okay because my controller doesn't know whether the code which I have written to be dumped by using this USB or the data should be taken by using this transmitter pin. So it will be in confusion to take the USB data or the data which is receiving from this pin. So that's the reason one of the pin should be removed at first and then you need to upload the code as usual you can able to see I am uploading the code it is asking me to save the code but here I am not interested to save the code that's the reason I am escaping it and then you can able to see that there it is compiling so compiling takes some time after compiling it then it gets uploaded to your Arduino okay so because many things you can able to see that it has been opened here you can able to see for recording purpose this campus here studio I have used for recording my Arduino module, the cam is open, writing the code, the VBS program which is rendering right now and for recording my audio I have another software and this presentation I can slightly close it so I am closing it off. So it takes some time but it, it doesn't take this much time if you are using Arduino frequently then it will be uploaded in 2-3 to three seconds it will be uploaded okay. Okay, just now uploading has been done. So let us open our serial monitor and let us connect our pin. So basically this is our pin where I am placing it and it will receive some information right now. So let us check what it is receiving. So okay, I was connected to the wrong pin. So that's the reason. Right now you can able to see in my monitor that I am getting a different values here. Right. So if you open it, if we maximize it and if you see the some values are random values are it is going to print and basically we require GPGLL that is but global longitude and latitude values see GPGLL so this is your north direction and this is your south direction and this is my home where I made I am preparing my videos right now that is the location and this is your angle from that location to which angle because your earth will be like this right from that which angle you are located it is telling us okay this is the angle of deviation from north and east northeast direction the angle of deviation it is printing okay so this is the thing which we require from GPS so in our next video we will be seeing how to extract that value we need to extract this value from all the values which I am getting see here also I get some values but you can able to see that these things will be constant in GLL. See here also it is the same value just a smaller fraction difference here 
and we are also the same value you can able to see pi 3 so small fraction difference it gets so due to the error of manufacturing that's it but it remains same everywhere as you are in same position okay so in my next video you will be seeing so these are the values which i am getting from serial dot read so by using this i can find the location of any person okay if i connect this G gps to that person so in my next video in my next programming we will see how to extract the longitude and latitude value from the bunch of variables which i am getting right from here okay thank you for watching this video i hope this video is very helpful to you to connect your normal gsm with your arduino board if you have any doubts please comment below feel free to contact us for any arduino based projects thank you